Oh, as a player, I would have to attribute it to my mom and my dad. You know, I can't just pick one. You know, they help me with, you know, what I need to work on. You know, just stay on me what they, what they see. You know, they're not basketball gurus, but they're always helpful. Um, I would say my, uh, my older brother. Um, you know, somebody I watched from a kid. You know, one of the reasons why you know, I started playing the game. Um, he just he helped me so much, you know, like I said, on and off the floor. I mean, giving me advice about what it takes to you know, become the best basketball player I can be, you know, what it takes to play at different levels. You know, he's just helped me in a lot of areas. I would say my mother, even though she didn't play basketball, my mom was actually a professional volleyball player, but she is the absolute monster when it comes down to competition. It's like <laughs> basketball is just a form of taking out anger to her. <laughs> I would say my parents, the way they raised me, the way they, they taught me how to be, how to interact with people. And then when I got here, since they weren't, my, they weren't around no more, I would say my coaches, because uh, when I got here, the, the thing that I like the most is the f uh, family feeling that it was around, so I would say them. Probably Coach Cronin. You know, his, uh, from the beginning, as he was recruiting me, his honesty to me and to get here and to push me as hard as he's been pushing me. You know, I think my mother would, my mother appreciates it too because it's turning me into a, a young, the young man she wants me to be. And uh, so I appreciate, it's probably coach for sure. My grandfather, uh, simply because uh, him and my grandmother you know, those two people are like the, the pillars of the family, you know, every good thing we learn from them, you know, the hard work and still, you know, and uh, definitely without him, you know, I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't be the man I am today.